Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and I'm back for another review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime. And first and foremost, we're going to take a look at the packaging. Optimus Prime on the box, some nice artwork in the box. Takara Tomy, Transformers Generations, Autobot Insignia, Transformers Earthrise, Warper Cybertron, Trinity, Hasbro, Azid 8 Plus, Product Shot of Optimus, and the Matrix Cavity, which is very good. And the function for his trailer as a med bay and as a repair station. And let's look at the more of the artwork. We got the artwork of the Autobots. I'm looking forward to the Trailbreaker figure coming out with Earthrise. And they might do a Shockwave. That might be interesting. I love Shockwave. But definitely Trailbreaker with Earthrise, I'm going to be excited about. The other artwork, and it's our boy Optimus Prime in his robot mode. Looking very intimidating. Not bad if I say so myself. That's all there is to say for the packaging. Now we're going to get down to comparison. Here he is next to Cyberverse Optimus Prime trailer, because this is the only other trailer Prime I own. And that's all there is to say for the trailer. Let's get down to looking at the trailer first. And it's accurate to the G1 toy beyond the shadow of a doubt. I love the sculpting. I love the paint. And, we're gonna, and it can open up like the original G1 toy. And you can even put Legends Class Transformers in the trailer. Nice gimmick. I like it. And we're going to take a quick look at the repair bay drone slash turret and he's he can do a lot of movement and I love that sorry I had a little bit of stuttering in, in that part and it's very impressive now we're gonna transform Earthrise Optimus Prime into his robot mode First and foremost, we're going to unpeg this cam section. Fold out the arms. Flip out these tabs so we can get the arms into place. Second verse, just like the first. Flip out the tabs. Cordian this upwards. Accordion the head up. Snap that head into place. Fold in these little side pieces to form the waist. And now we're going to work on this part right here. Fold in these panels like so. Second verse just like the first. Fold it. Fold it inwards. Form the chest. Sorry about that. I'm having quite a bit of issues. Flip out the hands. Like so, if I can get them out. And there we got a hand all done. Second verse, just like the first. Flip out the hand. And give Optimus his gun. And not a bad looking Optimus Prime. If I do say so myself. Really great. 
Kanan, really great sculpt. This is probably my new favorite, Optimus Prime now. But now we're going to get down to comparison. Here is Earthrise Optimus next to the Power of the Primes. Optimus Prime. They don't look that bad together. And here he is next to the Siege Optimus. And they look good. That's all there is to say for Siege. Now we're going to take a look at the one, the only, the most important piece to Optimus Prime, the Matrix of Leadership. Look at how really well sculpted that is. That is incredible. Even the eyes are G1 accurate. There's just so much to love about this figure. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? I got this from Amazon on my birthday for 50 bucks. Because I got 60 bucks in birthday money. And he was well worth it to add it to my Transformers collection. But before we end this video, we're going to show off one final gimmick. Before I do my end phrase, one thing I want to show off. His backpack can become a... It, sorry about that stuttering moment. His repair drone can become a jetpack. And then he can go flying like he did in that one G1 episode. Nice gimmick. Now we're going to reconnect it right back into its original connection place. And you're probably wondering, why didn't I show off the arm shield? Well, because I couldn't get it unconnected. Now we're going to show Optimus on the repair bay. There's what he looks like flat on the repair bay. Not bad at all. Now we're going to put the repair bay in its stance mode and put our leader class Earthrise Optimus on that. And it's not bad, and it's accurate to the G1 toy. They have gone far and beyond with this Earthrise Optimus. There's so much to love about this. And now I'm going to end this video. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.